If I can't make these shots, I don't deserve to be in the kitchen. Oh, that was so close fade away. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we had a little bit of fun to start. Let's get to work. We're going to melt a half a cup of butter on a very low heat, then add in one and a quarter cups of white sugar. Give that a really good stir, mix it all together and let everything melt and blend in. Very low heat because we are not trying to bring this to a boil whatsoever. Okay, once our butter and sugar mixture is ready, let's transfer that into a glass bowl because we need to let this cool for about 20 minutes and now we need to find a way to entertain ourselves. Damn it. I made a few here, I missed yeah. a few. <laughs> Next up, eggs. You'll need two. Crack two whole eggs into that bowl. Then we will grab our rubber spatula and fold everything over. Give it a good little mix. Next up, a short splash of vanilla. We're using one teaspoon. If you have pure vanilla extract, even better. Give that a little mix using your whisk. Everything's blended really nicely. Next up, half a cup of flour and your cocoa powder, a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now I started with a misc, learn quite quickly here. This is too thick for a whisk. So move over to your rubber spatula and start folding everything over. So, look, you see that? Excellent. So I have got chopped walnuts. Got these on sale too. I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, I was going to get pecans as well. $12.99 for a little bag of pecans. Not a chance. You know what? Seeing as I'm going to eat all this myself anyways, more than likely, pecans were not a requirement. They'd be a good, they'd be a nice to have, but not a need to have. Think about that in your kitchen when you're, when you're baking and cooking, okay? So anyways, we'll go ahead and add those in. I'm gonna leave some aside. And then some chocolate chips. So I got these on sale. As you know, when you're getting to the holiday season, things run out, they go low supply, especially what we've seen in the last couple of years. But when these go on sale, and I'm talking the big bad boys like this, one kilo bag, huge discount in there, I picked up. Not gonna lie, I picked up I picked up a few here. So I'm 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 stocked up. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more. Uh, what the hell that? Uh, the doctor said watch the sodium. He didn't say anything about the sugar today. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, oh boy, look at this. These are gonna be a fudge brownies. Oof, in Uncle Drew's kitchen. That is nice and thick. I'm gonna be careful, I don't wanna over mix that, but take a look at that now. You can see what we've got. Nice and thick. Should have had this prepared ahead of time, but easy way, a shortcut. We have a guy at Steakhouse named Shortcut Sean. It was short, but effective. It doesn't stick anywhere. Get that guy in. Now. You know we are gonna be licking this rubber spatula in in a second. You know it. How could we not? I mean, come on. Make sure we've got all this, at least the majority of it. Give it one more, one more check. There's a lot of brownie left in the bowl. You know when you're watching someone bake and you're like, no, don't scrape it all off. Let me let me lick some at least. And you're like, why are you being so aggressive licking everything or, or scraping everything off? 
I'm just gonna level this out a little bit here. Not much, but a little bit. We've already got the oven preheated. That's good, we'll give it a little shake. This way and this way. It actually looks like it's perfect in terms of the parchment paper. So check that guy out. 30 minutes, 350 bake, and then come on back. You see that going in the oven? I think you can. Hey Google, set a timer, 30 minutes. Can you see those? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to uh, lift this up. I hope you can see that. Yep. That's how it goes. Oh boy, that looks good. Uncle Drew's chocolate brownies. We're going in half. Okay, there you have it everybody. Uncle Drew's Kitchen chocolate fudge brownies with walnuts. You can eat these just like this, which are fantastic. Get yourself a cold glass of milk or almond milk or water, coffee, whatever you wanna have with this. These are gonna taste great. Try and make them last more than a night. Um, and then of course, what you can also do is make a chocolate brownie sundae. Huh. I think we need to do that. Check out that video, Chocolate Brownie Sunday, Uncle Drew's Kitchen, boom! We need equal fudge distribution. So, I'm gonna get one more in there. We're gonna do a small layer of ice cream. We're gonna do a little bit more chocolate fudge right on top, okay? Oh, what the heck. Remember, doctor said watch your sodium. She said nothing about sugar intake yet. Get another scoop of ice cream. It's so important right here. It's good, drizzling, drizzling. Optional right here, okay? You could do a few chopped walnuts. We're gonna lose a few, but that's okay. Add in a few extras. Okay, now for the final. I was always wondering, what am I gonna be able to use this whipped cream for? Let's move that out of the way. We're almost there. And we're gonna fill this. The cherry right on top. Now, I challenge you to try that chocolate brownie sundae Fresh baked brownies, Uncle Drew's Kitchen, chocolate brownie sundae with the fudge on the bottom. This is, I don't know if we're doing this justice. Check that out. I mean, if you've got a chocolate fix, you're gonna lick your lips here. I guarantee it. Boom. It's so good. It's so good.